Welcome, welcome back. Still up in Red Hills, and today I'm featuring the plumber. Well, <laughs> hi, Miss Plumber. Hi. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Okay, so Miss Plumber here now hook up our water tanks here for us. Um, Miss Plumber, tell the people a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, I'm Tony Ann Dietrich, and I'm a level one. Plumber. I was trained by um, Hart Montego Bay at the Adelphi Skills Training Center. Okay, and what do you like about plumbing? Ah, uh, everything. Um, I like where you can, um, well, the basics of reading a diagram and then being able to bring that to life in 3D <laughs> with the finished product. Uh, like water tanks, for example, um, when you first get to install them, not really sure what you're gonna do. You know, you're gonna install a water tank, but you're not really sure how you're gonna set up the pipe depending on how the house is set up. Mm -hmm. So that's always a challenge to sit down and figure out how you're gonna lay pipes, what connections to use, etc. Okay, and I'm teaching all of that at Heart Adelphi. Yeah, everything at Heart Adelphi we learned. Okay. Uh, it's a six months training course, and you learn everything from cutting your first PVC pipe, galvanized pipe, to learning fittings and attaching them, mm -hmm. and to um, diagnostics in terms of um, face basins to on toilets when they're not working. Okay, so how you feel being a lady in this field? Are you the, the only lady in your class now? <laughs> I am actually. I'm oh. the only girl in my class. Oh, so how you feel? You feel like a rose or you feel like a thorn? <laughs> it's definitely a rose. Um, the guys in my class take really good care of me uh, when it comes to like um, handling the heavier equipment and things that we have to move around. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's a challenging career choice, but it's not a difficult one. If you really enjoy working with your hands and figuring out how to install things, then definitely choose plumbing. I'm glad I made the switch. Okay, okay. And. Um so Adelphi is, what else did they teach though, apart from plumbing? Uh, well, the school itself uh, does uh, plumbing level one and they do housekeeping level one and two. Okay, so if you're, if you're a female and you don't want to do plumbing, you can also go to Adelphi and do level one and two in housekeeping. If you're a male, you can come and do housekeeping as well because the male, males are in the housekeeping class. Oh, you have male in the housekeeping class? Okay, yeah. so it's um, unisex, we're not choosing any sex now we just go through and do a thing right that's it and you can be um once you're above 18 you can come once you're above 18 right and how old it goes up to um right up uh, we have um men in our class who are in their 60s you know you hear that people so as old as you think you'll be as long as you can hold on to a pipe and hold on to that thing what that thing name you have in your pocket again that thing you have in your pocket is what oh this is a hacksaw blade Oh, as long as you can hold an axe or a blade, and you can hold on to a pipe, and you can stand up, and those things, and you have to read tape measure too? Yeah, read tape measure. Right, as long as you can count and read the tape measure, then we we'll teach you all of that, right, Tony? They teach you everything from holding the tape measure correctly to reading it, and you learn both um, imperial and metric. Imperial and metric. Okay, so for old people like me that learn feet and inches, when you go to the school, even if you're old like me, you will still learn the new metric, right? That's correct. Plus the imperial that you're used to before. So people, you don't have no excuse, you know, call Adelphi. So Tony, Ann, tell me something now. How expensive is a course like this now? <laughs> it's not expensive at all. I think I paid $6,000 for six months of training. $6,000 for six months of training? Is you paid or your mother paid? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people the truth, man. My mom paid. <laughs> okay. So therefore, you spend six thousand dollars for six months. So that's one thousand dollars per month. Yes. That is two hundred and fifty dollars per week. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, people. That's less than a box box food a day. And you don't have to pay it. Um, well, my course started in January. Mm. You don't even have to pay it in January. You can pay it in installments. You can pay it in installments. Right, you can pay a thousand dollars every month. Every month. People may hear that. So all of you who have your at home not doing anything, why you don't try the plumbing in Adelphi? So Google it. You can Google Tony Ann. And, Tony um, and Tony and will yeah, Tony give them a number so them can call it. Well my telephone number is eight seven six three seven zero eight one three eight. But a lot another 
thing you should know is that Heart gives a stipend. So even if you can't afford the $6,000 at the start, you get a $50 stipend every day mm -hmm. that's given back to you at the end of the month. So you can put it back towards the school fee. The school fee. Okay, okay. And in that way, $50 per day? Mm -hmm. That sounds like it could pay the school fee. That's it, it can. It can, okay. So people, you don't have no excuse. You need to go down to Adelphi, that's in Montego Bay. So if you're in Montego Bay, listen to us, even if you're in Kingston, because Tonyan is actually from Kingston, right, Tonyan? Right. Tonyan is from Kingston, so she actually boards down in uh, Montego Bay and goes to school. So Tonyan, what are you doing today? You're connecting, well, you finished connecting the water tanks, it look like. Right, I'm just um, putting a ball valve, well, a locker. A locker um, for a ball valve. She goes plumbing school in us and she'll talk up the things them now. <laughs> that the current name for that is what? Ball valve. A ball valve. <laughs> but we like me now, me call it a lock off, right? right so I'm gonna put a lock off on the water tank so that they can be turned off individually. Individually. Alright guys, so you heard it from Tony Ann. Don't be afraid to go to plumbing school. <laughs> right, Tony Ann. So Tony Ann, tell the ladies now one thing that you think they should do. One thing, if you could leave one thing with all the ladies, what would it be? Uh, in terms of plumbing, mm -hmm. I would say the number one thing a lady should learn is how to plunge a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> how to plunge a toilet? How to plunge a toilet. <laughs> okay. You don't need to call a plumber for that. Okay, yeah. You need to have the right... Um, plunger, mm -hmm. there's two different types. There's a toilet plunger and there's a one for the sink. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right plunger and learn how to plunge a toilet. Because many times you call a plumber just mm. to plunge a Just toilet. to plunge a toilet. Right, when you could easily do it yourself. Yeah, but Tony, we don't mind them calling, man. They them, them want to pay you when them call you, but them call you, man, for plunge the toilet, man. You don't have a problem with that. All right, guys, there you have it. So Tony is a plumber. So if you want to go to plumbing school, you don't know what to do, call Tony and he should tell you her number. Right, and if you want a tank to plumb up, or to not plumb up, plumb up you call it. If you want a tank to fit up, a water tank to fit up, you can call Tony Ann at the same number, right? Alright, have a beautiful day.